been really nice coming home. I've been able to spend a lot of time with my family, um, which was great because I hadn't been able to see them in quite some time. And then to be able to come out to an event like this and just, I don't know, feel so much joy and have so much fun with all the other athletes and everyone welcoming us home, it's been really good. I think there's been incredible support for all of Team Canada. I think it was also really a great way to celebrate all the women, female athletes who did so well across uh, in Tokyo. Um, I think over the past few games, the women have really been building momentum and I think it really does truly inspire the next generation of athletes just showing what opportunities are out there and what they might be able to be capable of if they set their sights high and work really hard and it's really exciting to be part of that. But it has been really nice to be able to come back, take a step back, just have some time to recover, recuperate, spend some time with my family and yeah, um, yeah so that's been really great. It feels awesome to be back, you know, it was, uh, it was one of those things where we were gone for I think it was like 25 days so uh, we have a little boy now so it was a, a long time away from the family and a long time away from the people that kind of supported me and helped me get to the games in the first place. So it was really nice to come home and share that share that time with them. It feels awesome, you know. Like when I was when I was young, I used to watch Katrina Lemaydon and Donovan Bailey, and those were athletes that me and my mom would watch. And my mom, when I was younger, told me you could do anything you set your mind to. And I kind of set my sights on the the decathlon and uh, the Olympics. And it's one of those things where yeah, we kind of got it. And it's one of those things that's really special when you finally achieve something that you set out for. Obviously, the decathlon gold medal was. Um, the biggest thing that I have ever wanted to achieve, um, but the world record is also up there. I believe that I'm capable of breaking the world record in the decathlon, um, but also it would be really cool to go back and to defend this title in, in, in 2024. So uh, there's still some really big dreams and some things that I think I can achieve in this sport and I'm looking forward to them. It was definitely uh, pretty challenging just because there was no competitions happening for a while. It was pool home, pool home for about a year straight. and. Of course, that can really take a toll on someone if you don't really see your end goal. Um, I guess at that point, you just really have to stay motivated and uh, remind yourself of why you love the sport. And I think there was a lot of athletes and a lot of teammates who relied on the support of each other. So I think it's really important that you talk to your teammates and you talk to your coaches, you talk to your family, even if you don't want to. It's just a conversation that you can try to start. And the more you try to start it, the more you'll actually get to it. The 2024 Paris Olympics is always in the goal. It's only three years away. That's not that far um, in the swim world. But I'm also leaving for Naples on the 23rd of August for that International Swimming League. It's a league that's starting up for swimming, so I hope you guys would tune in and watch.